Hello and welcome back to part two of my craft with me um, where I'm working on a scrap sampler for my pen pal and I'll also be decorating an envelope. So basically what how I made these um, again it's a variation of NYX I will put the link to NYX original tutorial as well below because um, you know that then you've got various ways of, of making these she as I said she makes them out of old file folders I make them out of um, these scrap pieces um, okay so um, I, this, I think this is like charcoal drawing paper uh, which I had a whole pad I, I don't know why I even bought I think I bought the pad because I like the colors of the card um, I don't do any pastels or chalk pastel painting so drawing so um, but but I love these kind of muted kind of vintagey colors then what I did um, I these are cut to six inches wide and you can make them as long short as you like really I um, just kept it to the width of the paper this this was actually came in sheets like this so they uh, I don't remember the actual width to be quite honest with you but the length of it was 12 inches by something else and I just cut it in half basically so easy cut it in half so that happened to be six inches then what I did is I cut a piece um, of kind of you know uh, scrap card that I have in my scrap box um, much on a kind of you know in terms of the colors match the tones and colors um, so this is cut to six inches wide so six inches wide and three inches in sort of depth then what I do is I make a little as you can see on these there's a a narrow spine because the thickness of the paper is quite thick so it's got a, a kind of narrow kind of spine there so what we do is we take the piece and um, I use my bone folder which is over here so this is three inches um, I'll just take that off so you can see this is three inches wide as I said so I'm gonna find the middle which is uh, one and a half which is there and I go a notch either side of the middle so there's the middle I go one notch to the right and score find the middle go one notch to the left and score Just cover up the again. so I've got literally a quarter inch spine right in the middle and then I can just fold those I don't need that anymore just fold those over to make a spine and then we've got the little the little spine there okay so then this is for the this for the stapled um closure at the top and i'll explain that i'll uh, you just put this to this and the cover to one side for a second then i am going to grab my scraps now obviously you can this, this is just a whole collection of scraps. I mean, literally scraps um, and some tea dyed papers. I've got tea dyed music paper. I've got some old newspaper, some old scrapbook paper. Um, this is a lovely piece of um, homemade, uh, 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 oh gosh, made paper, swirly inks. <laughs> I remember the name of it now. Um, here's some lovely, I think this is wrapping paper that I got somewhere. Um, some tea dyed sheets, some um, waxed um, sandwich wrap, which is screwed up. And um, here's another beautiful, some beautiful handmade paper samples. Some book pages, book pages. Um, oh, I don't think that's supposed to be it. Okay, so what I do, um, which you'll see this is exactly how how um, Nick does it as well. So I'm just gonna. What I do is I get myself um, a little clip. Get myself a little fold on clip, and then I just start layering. I just start putting the pages together. So I start with the biggest piece, which is this piece, and I just want to make sure that this is. See, this is a little bit wider than the cover. So I just need to trim off a little bit. So I'm gonna just do that by, it really doesn't have to be super straight because this is, these are just scraps. 
So I'm just going to trim off a little bit there. Make sure that this is, yeah, okay. So that's fine. That's the, the cover more than covers that piece. So this is my base piece and I don't want anything bigger than this. So I'm going to start layering the pieces. Um, it doesn't matter at this point if they are a little bit bigger because we're going to trim it after. So I then start clipping it all together. Okay, so we find the next biggest piece, which is probably this, maybe this piece. So I'll add that. And then we've got this piece of scrap, which I'll add again. So this again, a little bit wide. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to trim off an edge. There we go. And add that. And it doesn't matter if, if pieces are a bit short. You know, again, these are just scraps. And these are fantastic for... Um, now, this is a little bit longer than I want. So I'm just going to fold it over. I don't want to tear anything off these pieces. So I'm just going to fold that over and tuck that in. Um, and then we've got this piece of tea dyed paper. Just like that. And this is a great way of using up your own scraps. This is also a great way of organising your own scraps to, to use as your own samplers. Um, you know, rather than just having them all mixed up in a box. You can just grab one of your samplers and tear off the piece. These are great for art journaling, junk journaling, when you're trying to, you know, you're making bits of pockets and ephemera. These are great because that's just a, a stack of little scraps that you can just tear off and use as you want. Um, I'm just going to put a couple of these... Um, Book pages in here and then I'm going to put layer this handmade sheet in here a bit off now. A couple more book pages um, this lovely piece here you, you, you can obviously go a bit oh gosh no, it's all, if you go a little bit skewy just do that <laughs> And um, you don't go too crazy because if you make it too thick, it then becomes a bit too bulky and hard to post even. Um, and then I'm going to finish with this little bit of scrap paper, which I'm just going to fold in half and tuck, tuck under there. Um, I loved in, in, you'll see in, um, in Nick's, Nick's tutorial, she also um, adds some little... Uh, strips of things as well which I mean you can add anything you like to these and um, it's really just a great way to use your scrap bits of paper um, into little booklets so you just make sure so then you can just um, check the edge um, there's a little bit sticking out and I'm not too bothered about that obviously but I just want to make sure they don't stick out the bottom of the cover so I'm just gonna no they're fine okay so once you've done that that's great you get your covers and put one on the bottom, line it up with the top edge, this is the top here, line that with there, place the other one on top there, and then just clip it all together like that. And then just make sure that the top here is, is nicely um, kind of all lined up there. And then what you do, while you still have the clip in place, staple either side of the clip, about just about maybe a quarter or half an inch from the top and again you don't want it too thick because then you won't get your staple through <laughs> unless you've got one of these really industrial staples which i don't um, so two staples there and i like to put one in the middle so just remove the clip then and just staple in the middle okay so now you've got all the pieces stapled along the the top here and then i'm going to add the, um, the little bind spine, as I call it, on the top. So um, I'm just gonna put some glue on here. You don't have to put any glue in the middle piece, in the spine piece. Um, I mean, you can do, but you, don't, you really don't need to. Okay, and then once that glue's on, you can then just open it up, stick the back on like that, fold, the top over and then just kind of line it up make sure that that spine is right up against the edge of the paper and and cover and then just 
push, stick that down like that. Okay. And that's the sampler booklet essentially made. Make sure it doesn't sort of stick to your bits of paper. There we go. Um, we've got our sampler. Now for the for the stick stickers and the labels. Um, Nick, with her, if you watch her tutorial, she has a link to some, I think some free labels, um, which I'll just show you here. So we've got, um, um, she's got this scrap sampler label. She's got this scrap label here. And then she's got, I believe she's got some others, which I don't, I think I've run out of those. Yeah, I've run out of, of the ones. There's, um, she's got this lovely uh, from and to label um, in, in the same kit as well, which, which I've, I've, I've used all of those. But um, so for this one, I think I'm going to use, um, I think I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this one. These are some from, I can't remember, I think this one of, I think she's got some office folio labels in one of her kits as well, so I've, I've got one of those. So you could either put that up there or you can put that on over here. And then I've got some other labels of hers. You can put anything. Um, I've got a little, little office stamp here. I quite, quite like that, so put that up there. No, there. I might put that kind of going over the edge like that. I'm just going to fold this over and kind of just put it over the edge there. Yeah. So then we just stick these down. If you're really clever and you have label paper, you know, the sticky label paper, you can print out these onto the sticky label paper and then you don't have to mess around with, with glue. So let me put that in the corner there. This is office stamp, official use only. So that's kind of in keeping with the theme, I suppose. And then we just put a little bit of glue on this one. And then we're gonna just stick that one on the edge and just fold that over. So you can see office use and a little bit fold it over. And that's it. That's a simple as that okay so that's another one made so I am going to make one more because I just want to show you the other binding option so um, I'm gonna whiz through collecting these papers together so you don't have to sit through that again um, remember just to trim your bottom page By the magic of film, I'm going to speed this bit up. So this time, because we are doing the the tie, we need to attach the the cover first. So what I'm going to do is the inside. You attach the cover to the inside flaps. So you just want to glue these. So we just you put that just obviously just to the inside of that fold. Turn that round. Okay, so that is your cover stuck to the, the spine. Now get your pieces of paper, put them at the edge like that, and then you're gonna have to remove the clip, fold that over, and just, you can actually then add the clip again because it won't crease the spine. So I just hold those in place. Then I just, I use a piece of folded card for my punchy thing. Um, actually, you've got these, I've got, happen to have some lines here on the, on this piece of card, but you, you can measure and, and put it with a pencil if you like. I'm lit, I am going to do it by eye. So I'm going to find the corner the centre there, and I'm just going to punch a hole all the way through. 
uh, I'm going to do the same on this side, halfway, either side of the clip. And then we're going to do one in the middle, which is about there, I think. So, as I said, for these, you can really do it by eye, or if you really want to be more precise, you can. Just make sure it's gone all the way through. You can always go around the back and just push your awl all the way through, just to make sure it's gone all the way, like that. Okay, so those are your holes done. Then you get, um, you can use any kind of twine. You can use this sort of twine, you can use this, or I'm going to use some of this, um, I've got this sort of nice brown kind of baker's twine. Um, now in terms of how much you need, you need enough, the width, twice the width, and I would say a little bit more. Okay. Maybe three times the width, just to make it easy. Um, now you, if the holes are big enough, you can thread it through, but I, I just don't think they're going to be quite big enough. So I am going to use a needle. Um, I'm going to use one of my big upholstery needles, which will hopefully be, the eye will be big enough for this to go through. Yep. Okay, you don't need to obviously knot the end or anything. So if you're familiar with bookmaking, it's a very similar thing. So you will go through the middle first, take your all the way through the middle, and here you would leave a tail. Okay. And then from the back, you go back through one end. Then you're at the front again to go all the way across and down the other end. And then the middle, you come back up the middle. So this tail is on that side. And when you put it through again, make sure that this one comes up the other side. Like that. And then you can take the needle off. And then you can just sl and then just gently pull on the two strings so that the that string is nice and taut and just not really loose. Don't pull too hard because you might rip your paper. And then with the two strings either side of there, you just knot it. I'll do a nice double double knot there. And then you can, if you want to tie a bow, you can. I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to trim trim that one off. And then you just leave those those there. And then you've got a nice bound in paper with the little strings there. And then we can, I'm not going to do it again, but then I would just go and add the um, labels onto the, onto the front, uh, like I did, like I did the other ones. Okay, so that is all of the content of um, the, the pen pal swap. So now I'm going to decorate an envelope. Okay. So I've, I tend to do a few envelopes at a time. I try and decorate three or four at a time. I'm obviously just gonna decorate one for now. Um, what I decided to do with this lot is I had some stencils and they very, very rarely use stencils. So I thought I'm gonna use my stencils. So I did a few stencil patterns just with ink, um, just on kind of one edge of the envelopes. So I think I'll just, I'll take, I'll take this one I think. Okay, and then really it's just a case of getting a load of scraps. And again, this is a great way to use your scrap bits of paper. Um, I tend to like to keep mine in a kind of um, similar kind of color scheme, I suppose. Sometimes I, I do do themes. I mean, there's loads of scraps of paper and cards and all sorts of bits and pieces here. And, and really it's, I, I essentially do a bit of collaging, um, is what I do, and um, on, on the front of my envelope. You can use any glue, Pritt stick, um, the three in one, you can use Mod Podge. I tend to use this super thick tacky glue for my envelopes. 
um, it actually gives it a kind of more a kind of rigid theme uh, a rigid feel to it if you like so um, what I do is I, I just really just start layering pieces of um, a scrap um, I wanted to on this set of envelopes I particularly wanted to use scraps of music paper so um, I tore some music papers so that's um, like the look of that and then um, well, I've got lots of lots of different stuff here um, I'm going to use a little bit of a bit of um, a bit of this this is just uh, I think this is actually scrapbook paper it's meant to like a book page but uh, yeah so I want this to go underneath I think and you can you can stick you can go off the edge because you're just going to trim it after. So I actually want that's pretty much what I want, but I'm just going to. The thing is, you can you can keep trimming down till you've got what you want, um, and you don't stick anything in place until <laughs> until you've found what the, the kind of layout you like. So that's I like quite like that. Um, then I am gonna uh, quite like. This is an old uh, map that I printed just onto copy paper. I quite like this this kind of scene going on here, so I'm gonna just tear tear that out and stick that on the corner there. So quite like that. Then I tend to do the bottom corners. Um, when I decorate. Um, so let me, oh, I quite, I do like this, I like this map. I'm kind of thinking I want to use that. Uh, maybe this piece. Um, yeah. So I'm going to just tear that down there. And that's going to sit there, so I can just hidden my scissors now. There's a pile of scrap papers, so yeah, I just want to kind of trim it off. So that's going to sit on there. Um, then let me see. Quite like, quite like this. I'm just going to trim that down a bit and just tear that, tear that. Um, I'm quite, this is lovely, a pen pal sent me this, I kind of wonder if I should put that under, yeah. So again I'm going to trim. And let's see if I can, it's tissue papers, it's very, oh, we're good, we're good. So that's going to go on there with that and that on the top. Okay. And I think you can put something in the middle if you want, um, I've got this little piece here, which I think I'm just going to roughly tear there, and I'm going to stick that in the middle there, just to kind of join. So I'm going to take those off to the side and stick this little this little fella down here first. You do need to try and stick the edges of your bits of paper down quite well because this is gonna this is going through the post, don't forget. And you know, nowadays um, it's all machine. <laughs> and if something is loose and you know has loose edges, it, it might get stuck in the sorting machines. Um, 
I read that somewhere. <laughs> well, so I heard someone talk about that at some point. So I did just make that up. So that's that. So once you've got your kind of what I call my base collaging down, then you can start adding other other bits and pieces. So um, I tend to look for, I tend to look in my sticker stash and see what I have there. Um, I found these, which I quite liked, wanted to use these. Um, I think I did, I can't remember where I put them there. Um, these are, again, some of um, Nick's lovely, lovely stickers, um, which I love, and um, thought I would use some of those as well. I've got some stickers here. Um, I'd like to use one of these fragile stickers, maybe, and even uh, maybe a confidential sticker. You don't want to overdo it. Um, and then I tend to like doing, um, sticking some stick, uh, stamp, I might put one of these tickets on there, might, might put a couple of, and then I also quite like, um, adding some stamping as well. So, um, I've got some music, which is the same as the music there. Um, I might do so something quite random. <laughs> I've got some new stamps actually. I might use. I might. This is a new one. I haven't even used it. See, I might use that somewhere. Um, and then I, what I do is I try and visualise where I'm going to put this label, which is about here. So you can put stamps and just sort of so it you can just see the stamp peeking out. But you don't want to cover it totally. So just just visualise where you're going to put this, the the label. Um, and I pre stamp my pre thing my labels. So I'm going to just put these, um, add a few of these stickers. I'm just going to put that up here. There we go. Uh, do I put that there or over here? I'll put this over here, I think. Yes, I think I'm going to use one of these. I got this in a, I got this in a pack of. Before I start make, I think this is a PV pack or something. Um, what, do I, what do I want to use? Um, I quite like the typewriter actually. Quite like that. I'm going to use that. I think these are stickers. <laughs> actually, I actually don't know. Gosh, I hope they are stickers now. Got stickers. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, well they're not stickers, so I'm gonna to have to stick that on, which is fine. I'll just get my glue and that will go, I think, there. Okay. So now I'm gonna just put these little ticket things in the corner. And I think I like to put a kind of fragile sticker on somewhere. Not that the post office take any notice of it whatsoever. <laughs> um, I think I might just put that there. Um, and I've got this airmail letter post label, which I will stick somewhere. Over here, I think. Yeah, just overlap that slightly there at an angle. Yep, and then I've got this confidential sticker. Don't even know if I want that now. I don't know. Um, or shall I put it over the edge? I like edge things, so I might stick that over the edge. Okay, let's trim this down. As you can see, this is what I do. If I go over the edge, I just go around the back and trim without cutting the envelope edges. Trim off any excess the thing is 
it sounds awful. I mean, I love, I do like writing and I like writing letters. I actually, to be honest, would much prefer receiving letters than writing, writing them. I never know what to say half the time, but anyway, I probably bore my pen pals with stuff. I cut through the envelope. No. Um, but I must admit, this is the bit I love most. Decorating the envelopes, putting the goodies together. Love all of it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, so what was I going to do? I was going to put this confidential sticker over the edge. Okay. Right, I think other than a bit of stamping, I'm just going to finish. I usually finish with the stamping. So I'm just going to put so this new one. Fine. I think here. On there. Oh, oh, that's nice. Might do another one up here. Kind of coming out there. Yeah, like that. Okay, I. you can get carried away, which I often do. <laughs> but I think that will be it. Because you've got to, I've got to leave room for the stamps and um, for the label as well that goes about there. And then the stamps will go up here. So I think that will do. Um, and then I just need to go away and make all my stuff to go in there so that thank you very much for watching today um make my pen pal pack and um i just do hope that my pen pal isn't going to watch this video <laughs> because then she'll know exactly what she's getting but that's fine okay well thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye